Are you learning to code and struggling to stay motivated? Do you find yourself losing interest, feeling overwhelmed, or hitting roadblocks that seem impossible to overcome? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some tips and strategies on how to stay motivated, inspired, and on track in pursuing your career goals to become a programmer. From setting achievable goals and finding a supportive community, to experimenting with new technologies and celebrating your successes, we'll cover it all. So whether you're a self-taught programmer or a beginner learning to code, grab your favorite programming language and let's dive in. The first step to staying motivated when learning to code is to set achievable goals. Now this may sound like a no-brainer, but this is a crucial step that most programmers make when first learning to code. When you set clear, realistic goals for yourself, you'll have a clear target to aim for which can help you stay focused and motivated along the way. When setting goals, it's important to make them specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This means instead of setting a broad goal like, I want to learn how to code, you should break it down into smaller goals like, I want to learn HTML and CSS next month. This way you'll have a clear plan of action and a sense of achieving goals as you go. It's also important to keep your goals achievable and relevant to your current skill level. Setting goals that are too difficult or not aligned with your interests can quickly lead to frustration and demotivation. Instead, start with small, achievable goals that will build your confidence and skill level. As you progress, you can gradually increase the complexity and challenge of your goals. Don't forget to celebrate your success along the way. Recognizing your progress and achievements no matter how small can help boost your motivation and keep you on track to fulfill your ultimate coding goals. Another key to staying motivated when learning to code is to find a supportive community. Coding can be a solitary pursuit but having a group of like-minded individuals to connect with can provide invaluable support, encouragement, and motivation along the way. There are many ways to find a supportive community as a beginner coder. You can join online forums like Stack Overflow, Reddit, or GitHub to connect with other like-minded programmers like yourself to ask for help or advice. You can also attend other coding events or meetups in your area and connect with other programmers. Some may be in similar situations like yourself or you could meet with other programmers that have years of experience. In addition to finding a community, it's also very important to find a mentor, someone who has years of experience, who can provide you with feedback on your coding journey. This can be a more experienced coder or someone who has already gone through the same struggles you're facing. Having someone to turn to when you're feeling stuck or in a rut can be a powerful motivator for you. It can also help you stay on track to becoming a programmer. Finally, don't forget to give back to the community. Helping others can be a great way to solidify the knowledge and skills that you have, and it can be a great way to form relationships with other coders in your community. Beyond setting achievable goals and finding a supportive developer community, another great motivator is to just experiment with new technologies. One of the great things about coding is that there's always something new to learn and explore which can help keep you engaged and motivated in your coding journey. Whether it's learning a new programming language or developing with a new tool or framework or just creating a new project out of your comfort zone, developing with new technology is going to increase your motivation and keep you happy while you're coding. Not only does it keep things fresh and exciting, but it also helps you expand your skill set and build a more diverse portfolio of projects. When experimenting with new technologies, it's important to approach it with a curious and open mindset. Don't be afraid to try new things, make mistakes, and learn from them. Building a growth mindset and embracing failure as part of the process of learning how to code can be a great motivator and it can keep you on track to fulfill your coding goals. Also, don't forget to share your coding projects with the people in your community. This can be a great way to get feedback on your projects and it can offer up some encouragement for other people to start experimenting with new technology as well. Another important aspect of staying motivated while learning how to code is to take breaks and avoid burnout. As much as you may want to continue spending all your time coding and building projects, it is essential for avoiding burnout and keeping motivation high that you take breaks. Coding can be mentally and physically demanding, 
so it's important to give yourself some time to rest and recharge. This can be as simple as taking short breaks throughout the day to stretch, walk around, or do something non-coding related. It can also mean taking longer breaks such as a day or even the weekend off just to give your body and mind some time to recover. In addition to taking breaks, it's important to prioritize activities that bring you joy outside of coding. This can help you maintain a healthy work-life balance and prevent coding from consuming all your time and energy. If you find yourself struggling with burnout or loss of motivation, don't be afraid to ask for help or take a break from coding altogether. Sometimes stepping away from a project or taking a break from coding can help you come back with renewed energy and motivation. Last but not least, an important part of staying motivated while learning how to code is to celebrate your achievements and progress along the way. It's easy to get caught up in the never-ending cycle of learning and improving, but taking the time to acknowledge and celebrate your successes can help keep you motivated and engaged. Whether it's finishing a challenging project, solving a difficult problem, or just learning a new concept, it's important to acknowledge and celebrate your progress along the way. This can be something as simple as giving yourself a reward or treat or favorite activity or sharing it with your community of developers. Celebrating your progress not only helps you stay engaged and motivated, but it can also help build your confidence and self-esteem. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and discouraged when learning to code, but taking the time to acknowledge your achievements can help you see how far you've come and what you've gone through to get there. Finally, don't forget to set new goals and continue to push yourself. Celebrating your achievements is important, but it's also very important to continue to set new goals to push yourself and grow as a programmer. In conclusion, learning to code is a challenging but rewarding journey. Staying motivated is key to success and making progress towards your goals. By setting realistic goals, seeking out support and resources, taking breaks and avoiding burnout, and celebrating your progress, you can stay motivated and engaged throughout your coding journey. Remember, it's important to acknowledge your successes along the way and celebrate your achievements, whether it's finishing a project, solving a difficult problem, or learning a new concept. Taking time to celebrate your progress can help boost motivation and build confidence. So stay positive, stay motivated, and keep learning. With persistence and dedication, you can achieve your goals and build a successful career as a coder. Thank you for watching and best of luck on your coding journey.